The most common reason for drone crashes is pilot error. This summer, when we were flying our drone over the lake, there was a crash which caused the drone to fall into the water. And in this video, we're going to take you through what you should do to avoid mistakes like that. And this can be avoided by having and following a dedicated pre-flight checklist. Of course, it's understandable that the pre-flight checklist will be different for each pilot. However, there are some things which should be common and should be included in every single drone pre-flight checklist. And firstly, of course, you don't want the wind to suddenly start blowing while you have your drone up in the sky or have the rain start pouring. That's why, of course, make sure to check the weather before you head out into the field and make sure to check it already before you are taking off because, as you might know, it might change quite rapidly, quite unpredictably, depending on where you are. Of course, you don't want to have a helicopter suddenly fly in the area where you're flying your drone. So make sure to check your local airspace regulations before you take off and before you head out into the field because there could be things such as some temporary no-fly zone set up there. So whenever you're flying, make sure that everything corresponds to the local local regulations. So avoid anything unexpected, make sure to plan your missions ahead of time and make sure you are aware of any obstacles which are located inside the area such as tall towers, tall buildings and various other things which might impact your flight safety. If you don't want to end up like us with having to fish out the drone from the lake is make sure the drone's hardware is properly inspected and this includes of course inspecting the drone's propellers for any cracks, making sure all the motors are rotating smoothly, inspect all the arms of the drone to make sure they are properly fixed in place inspect the landing gear and of course also inspect the payload make sure the payload is properly mounted because you do not want to lose your expensive lidar or camera by having it uh, fall down mid-flight and also of course make sure that the batteries are properly mounted within the drone's frame and that there's no way for them to slide out during the flight and last but not least under this checklist make sure that the batteries of the drone remote controller and the laptop are all fully charged and ready to go you do not want the battery of the remote controller suddenly run out while your drone is somewhere far away up in the skies and the other most common reason for drone crashes is pilot error now let's just quickly go through on how you can avoid pilot error and how you can make sure your drone returns back safe Make sure you are well familiar with your drone and that you practice regularly. If you only fly once per month, this might not be enough because then you might forget certain things about your drone. So as long as you fly regularly and as long as you are aware of things such as what flight modes does the remote controller have, what uh, button makes the drone return back home, these are all important things which will help you in terms of making sure your drone comes back safe. Next is have really good situational awareness. So monitor not only the FPV camera view, but also make sure that you have your eyes towards the sky if you can see the drone and make sure if there are any obstacles nearby, such as tall trees, buildings, some poles or anything like that. And also, of course, take into account that there's other aircraft up in the air. This can be other drones. This can be even manned aircraft in some cases, depending on if you're maybe filming some event. What's really important is try not to get distracted by any third party approaching you or trying to talk with you while you're piloting the drone. If this happens, tell them to wait a bit until you land the drone and then you can talk with them. Next point here is lose the overconfidence. Even if you know you are a good drone pilot, still be aware of your skills and don't get too confident. Don't try to fly too fast. Don't try to take off from dangerous locations or land in dangerous locations. So always try to be as safe as you can and if necessary, do some maneuvers more slowly than you need to. And last but not least, make sure to monitor your battery levels. I've seen way too often that people are flying their mission and they want to squeeze as much juice as possible from their batteries. And this can lead to situations where the drone just does not have enough battery power to come back to you. And this also links with the previous overconfidence aspect. So always make sure you have enough battery to return back and safely land your drone. Okay, so so far we have covered two important aspects how to improve your flight safety. Number one is by having dedicated pre-flight checklist and following and number two is avoiding pilot error. But there's a third thing as well that I want to mention here, and that's using proper flight planning software. That's why we recommend using GCS for your flights because it helps you significantly improve the safety of your flights, as well as comes back with a bunch of other really useful things. As far as safety goes, firstly, GCS allows to use multiple different terrain following modes, one of them being Smart AGL. And second, it also now allows you to load both high resolution digital elevation models 
and high-resolution digital surface models. Both of these features combined allow you to keep a safe distance even when flying over challenging terrain, and it allows you to know how far will the drone be to some obstacles above the ground, such as trees or buildings. So, make sure to visit our website, ugcs.com, if you want to learn more about UGCS flight planning software. And, of course, like and subscribe if you want to see more cool drone-related content. So, thank you and see you in the next one.